Hello, <laughs> guys. I'm going to the club today. <laughs> what the? F so I'm 21 now, which means I can drink go to clubs. Today I'm not only going to the club for the first time, but I'm going to the K-pop club. I've always seen these advertised, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna say technically I'm going by myself, but I guess I'm not. I went to a random K-pop dance play, and I ended up meeting someone there, and we exchanged Instagram, so we've like kind of been talking. We're gonna like meet up together and hang out. I'm just really excited. <laughs> I don't drink. Every single alcohol I've ever tasted has been fucking disgusting. There was one alcohol I tasted going down it was smooth but the aftertaste was still not good to the point where I wouldn't be able to enjoy it but they have pizza there I've, I've looked at the bitch I've looked at the social medias and everything and it looks lit so honestly I'm just excited to to make new friends and connect with people and just have a good time yeah so it's 5 46 I was gonna say 5 45 now it's 5 40 this clock is one minute ahead so it just turned 547 which means that it's 546 now so i can't even say that it's 545 because when i looked at it, it was 540 i'm gonna start getting ready now so watch a 21 year old go to the club for the first time honestly this is probably the most ideal experience because i'm not going to like a normal club i would much rather i much rather trust people in a k-pop club over like a normal club oh my god this is heavy oh Okay, so this is the top. Very cute, very cute, I know. I did the jump test, and while it passed, I'm not comfortable with the results. So, good old boob tape. I was gonna wear a wig, but it's gonna be too much, so I think I'm just gonna, no, I think. I'm gonna do a slick back with my little one piece, which I may not even do, because, like, I don't even, girl, what am I gonna do? My room is a mess. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. I am, like I said earlier, I'm going alone and I'm going to meet the, the girl there. But I think, not I think, people, a lot of people think that in order to have fun, you need to have other people around you besides you. Like you can't have fun alone, which is not true. The goal isn't to make friends tonight. The goal is to have fun. I just like realized that like two minutes ago. <laughs> Cause like I'm, I am excited to make friends. Um, but I, that shit comes naturally. The reason why I met up, I met with this girl or I'm meeting this girl tonight is because I went to something alone and it happened naturally where we started talking. A lot of uh, K-pop friends who I've met, it wasn't because I like tried and forced anything. It was because it happened naturally. And I feel like when you try and force shit, that's when stuff doesn't fucking happen. But when you just enjoy the experience and have fun, that's when stuff happens. I am a little nervous, but that I know that's not me. That's my ego talking. I'm I'm super excited. And the goal is to just have fun. Like if if I'm there alone the entire night, but I have a great time, then I've fucking succeeded. Like I, I don't want to get there and be too concerned about making friends with people and then maybe I leave knowing a bunch of more people, but since I was too concerned with like making friends i get stressed out and i don't enjoy myself and then there's no fucking point right i should have a ted talk i will my hair looks so nice right now but it's it's gonna be hot like this is not gonna be the vibe it's not gonna stay like this i literally never wear my hair out outside i think i'm gonna put some more like boob tape on by the way i was literally listening to Nicki minaj and i was like wait i should probably listen to k-pop to like get excited this is the bag i'm bringing because I don't have to put this bag down. I could still dance and twerk and hold this. We have my ID, we have my keys, headphones, my charger and my charging thing, boob tape, two Advil. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. I don't know, I've never been to a club before, but I feel like I'm doing a good job for my first time. It's literally like going to a concert. I was really thinking of bringing my light stick, but it really, not that it doesn't make sense, it just, I, it doesn't make sense. Right, it's like 6.30 something, I think. But I'm gonna go now because I am definitely gonna get a little something to eat. Guys, it's getting weird out here. I want to wear my Stray Kids Converse platform so bad, but I know I'm gonna regret it. But I want to wear them so bad. Oh my gosh, how did they get on my feet? That's crazy. I haven't worn these in such a long time. <laughs> I 
I just got recognized. What the fuck? is so fucked right now it's kind of insane oh my god now i know why people bring earplugs everywhere oh, my ears are ringing oh my god it smells like trash I don't really know how this video is gonna turn out. It's gonna be a lot of loud music jumping up and down. Um, I recorded some, but I obviously tried to be in the moment too. But <coughs> oh my god, that was it. Um, I would absolutely recommend it. Ten out of ten. Nine and a half because they didn't play S class when I was there. I'm really upset about that. But um. I don't, I don't think they take requests, which would make sense because they definitely had like a set thing. I think actually they take requests like they posted in the comments like before. Um, but yeah, that was so much fun. I, I focused on having fun. And of course, there was no way I wasn't going to leave there without at least meeting one person. But I mean, bro, listen, I make videos talking about like the crazy k-pop stands and i i don't think i was gonna say that because you know you have like the minority but they're loud the loud minority i i was gonna say they might be the majority i think they're the minority but they're just really really loud but you don't you don't really meet those crazy k-pop stands in real life those are just on twitter um Every K-pop stand I've ever met that I still keep in contact with is so nice. Like, everybody is so nice. And, like, once again, K-pop, you know I'm going to make a, I have a whole, like, commentary style video talking about, like, uh, that's going to come out talking about the upsides of K-pop. But, like, it literally feels, it's it, it's a community. It's not just like, oh, you listen to Megan Thee Stallion? I listen to Megan Thee Stallion too. It's cool. It's like, no, like, it's a whole different community. There are groups within groups and it, there's just there was just so much to it and like you have like stuff like this so yeah it's it's it was so much fun i recommend if they're coming to your city go you're gonna have so much fun but yeah i don't think i've ever told you guys to subscribe 
I won't. My mom said. My mom told me to tell you guys to subscribe, so. I'm not telling you, but my mom is, and you kind of have to listen to her, you know, because she's like mother. Bitch, my feet hurt. Cooking up 